I just wanted to make another video showing you guys the new stuff that I'm using. As you can see here, the Phantom 2 Vision Plus and my Phantom 2 with the light bridge that I've been using. And I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a, of a review of what I use and uh, of what I have been using. As you guys see on this video right over here, my last set of video that I made, I explained everything that I have here. But let me just review it really quick. This one is here, my Phantom 1. Uh, I have a dual battery setup with the Zemus gimbal. I have a parallel plug so you could go ahead and plug in both batteries so I could run a dual battery setup. Also on the Phantom FPV system, this is the video transmitter. It transmits the video through this antenna. This is a 600 milliwatt immersion RC video transmitter. So that's the Phantom here. And just so you guys know, I will be posting all the links on the video description on how to get everything, everything that I'm gonna talk about. Uh, Phantom parts, dual battery trays, everything on this video. So this is the Phantom 1. Uh, on the Phantom 1 video reception, in order to receive the video, that's what I mean. As you guys know on that video that you guys must have seen already, I have a Uno uh, VTX video, no, I'm sorry, Video RX video receiver. And this is the, uh, the Uno 5800 with a patch antenna that gives me really good results. Uh, I have a Velcro to the back of the FPV uh, monitor. And this is the stock remote that I've gotten some good results. You can see the results on that, on the range of this remote, on this video right over here too. Um, as you can see, I have a DVR. I'll be posting a link to that also. A uh, little DVR. Uh, what is a DVR? Well, it records all the OSD data that you get from the OSD that is inside the Phantom altitude, satellite locks, speed, everything, where the phantom is, everything. Also I have this little bracket here so you can mount the TV, the FPV TV. This is the battery that powers the TV and the video transmitter and this is the cable that, pow that hooks up to the battery right over here and one goes to the FPV TV and the other one goes to the video transmitter. I'm using a 2200 milliamp battery, 3S battery, 11.1 .1 volts. When it's fully charged, it's 12.8 volts around there. And I'm using that to power that. So that's this setup that I'm using. And this FPV system runs analog meaning that if you start losing reception you see it like the old TVs that you start getting grainy and snow so that's an analog FPV system also forgot to mention I used to use this this goes mounted on the remote handle so you could put your TV a lot of people rather use this than this one right over here so that's that system there like I mentioned, this system is analog, FPV system is analog. And the furthest I went, like you guys saw in my video that I linked already, is 2.8 kilometers on that, on the remote and on the range of the FPV system. Now on my Phantom 2, as you guys can see, I'm running the Zemus 3-axis gimbal and I'm running the DJI Light Bridge. As you guys can see on this video right over here, I did a range test of the light bridge. I got 3.3 kilometers distance. That is about 2.1 miles away. So if you see that video, you'll be able to see everything in feet. And my total distance was 11,110 feet. The nice thing about the light bridge 
is that the ground station this is what's called the ground station and this is what's called the air unit well the ground station receives the HD video and at the same time it transmit the controls so it's a video receiver and it's a transmitter for the controls so that's the nice thing about that all you have to do is just plug this to the trainer port of the Fotaba radio that I have right here as you can see it's an older Fotaba 9 cap radio and it works just fine so the nice thing about that is that you don't have to buy a completely new radio you can find these on eBay or in RC groups so this system is working really well on that video that I mentioned on my range test video I could have gone further but I had to come back because of the battery life why because with this system with the video transmitter for the light bridge it's a little bit heavier than any other video transmitter and it's been giving me flight times of about anywhere between 10 and 14 minutes reaching 30 percent of the battery on the phantom you can see right here the way i have it set up for the antennas i have the panel antennas that in rc groups blade strike told me to use those antennas better because it gets in better range so they're diagonally these panel antennas and everything has worked very well and very nicely and this is where i put my phone right over here and i hook it up through the usb so to review this ground system takes care of the remote and takes care of the video so inside my phantom i took out the vi the remote rx the remote receiver i took it off so the only thing that is hooked up according to the instructions is through s bus here on the light bridge so those are all my setups and if you guys need more help please just let me know through my facebook page or if you have any other questions i also opened up an instagram so you guys could see some pictures that i'm gonna be posting but mainly contact me through my facebook page through the face through the private messages if you have any other questions i've been helping out quite a few people there and i'm glad to do so thank you very much and you guys have a very nice day